Hello everyone. In this lesson we are going to determine the equation of a graph. Now a graph can do four things. It can be shifted vertically, so shift vertically. So for example if you shift it up then it does that. You can stretch a graph vertically. Stretch or compress. Okay, So that can do something like this. Notice how the arrow is on both sides, meaning it goes up and down. You could shift a graph horizontally, and that means something like that, so you just slide it over. Or you could stretch or compress horizontally, and so that's when it would do something like that. So it would go in both directions. Now, how do we know which one's happening to this graph? Well, it's quite easy, because what they do is they'll always give you the general form of that particular graph. So all that we can see in that graph is this part over here. Now that part is no, not there, is a horizontal shift. So we need to see how this graph has been shifted. Now please, something that students always do, they say, oh, there's a plus over there, that means the graph has shifted left. Yes, a plus does mean shifted left, guys, but we don't know what P is. P might end up being a negative value. So then that would cause that whole expression to be negative. So don't pay too much attention to that positive over there. What you need to do is find a point on the graph where you know the coordinates, okay? So this point over here in green, that has the coordinates of 300 and 0. Now you need to know what an original cos graph, what the coordinates of an original cos graph would be at that point. So that's why it's very important that you know what a, uh, the normal graphs look like. So if you look at a cos graph, at that point where it cuts the x-axis for the second time, the coordinate there is usually 270 and zero. This coordinate is 300 and zero. So that means that that graph has been moved over by 30 degrees. So if you move a graph 30 degrees to the right, then that means it would have to be something like that. Okay? So P is minus 30. And so that is the final equation of that graph. Then the next question is the amplitude. So remember the amplitude is the maximum distance from the resting position. And in this video, the resting position, well in this question, sorry, the, the resting position is there. And if we look at that maximum distance, it is one. So the amplitude is one. The range, well that's your y value. So we say y is an element. And then we can see that the lowest value is over here, which is at minus one. And the highest value here is at one. So we can say that the range goes from minus one up to one, the domain. So with the domain, you simply just look at what they've given you. So let me just erase this line over here. So we can see that it goes from minus 180 up to 360. And so the domain will be from minus 360 up, sorry, minus 180 up to 360. Then the last one is the period. Now the period is how long does the graph take to repeat, which is 360 for a normal cos graph. If you move a cos graph over to the right, you're not going to affect the period. It's still going to take 360 degrees to repeat. 